released just moments ago the new forest route expansion for Watopia on Zwift. So today I'm going to do my first look ride through, but before I do that, let's have a look at the facts. Uh, we've known it as the forest expansion, that's what we've been calling it for months, waiting for it to come along. It's known as Titan's Grove. Uh, 8.4 kilometers in one direction, so if you spin around at the other side, you get 17 kilometers of new roads there. Looks to be rolling terrain, one short climb, and lots of trees. In addition to this, we have five different routes now added to the pre-selected routes list, so we can go in all different directions there on Watopia. Okay, while I get clipped in here and set up in the Llama Lab for the ride, let's have a look at the official promo that's just dropped from Zwift. Okay, drink bottles at the ready, fan is turned on. Let's have a look at the options here. So we click on routes. And the first route that I can see here added to the list, I may miss a few, but uh, I'll see what I can grab. So we have, well, there's big foothills, which takes in the new course in reverse. You can see it through here. Big loop, big loop, dust in the wind. Okay, starts right at the beginning there, near the new course. Takes in the route plus the rest. Um, what else can I spot here that's new? Myr in the mountain, okay. All new, and Quadditch Quest. Okay, not sure what that's about. Oh, there's another one here, Sand and Sequoias. So that takes in the uh, new TT course plus the new, is it Sequoias? Am I getting that right? Uh, and there's a few others there, a whole lot of lava, okay. Uh, dust in the wind looks to start right where I want to drop in and takes in the new route, so let's go with that. Uh, Nick Scolari, Carly Taylor, Mike Brooks, Jeez, there's a few uh, familiar names on there already riding this new course, checking it out. Okay, let's get straight into it here, joining Watopia and onto the new roads. I'm looking forward to this, I really am. So rolling terrain, this will be interesting to have a look at. We like the S's in Watopia, so this should be S's and more. Okay, matchy matchy with the kit already. Let's get stuck into it. So it's almost midday here in Australia, which is the middle of the night, I think, everywhere else in the world. So still quite a few people on here checking this out. Okay, so the top map is where we're going. We're gonna be turning left in just a moment. Titans Grove, there we are. Uh, triathlete up. Dodge. Alrighty. Here we are. It begins. Right on, Jay Bishop. Thank you. Oh, and the others. Oh, now they're all coming through. Titans Grove. Watopia Preserve. So this shouldn't take any more than 20 minutes or so. We'll have a ride through and see what we can see. 8.4 Ks. I'll do a live stream later on of this one as well. Maybe get a few others to join while there's more people online later on today. Okay, some hot springs. Oh, I'm on the Tax Neo. I can feel that resistance kicking in pretty quickly. Rolling terrain, tick, already. Uh, what else are we spotting here? Signs, I'll have to go back and have a look at those signs later on. But I just wanna get one of these full route rides in so we know what's coming up soon. Geyser, right. Okay, guys, the signs. Is that a rubber ducky? <laughs> okay, 
how hot are the geysers? I don't think the rubber ducky will be that shape very long in the hot water. Okay, definitely rolling hills. That's really kicking. You can see above me here the percent grade. 4%, 3%, yep. And I think the, if you look closely at the terrain map above, it's, there's that one climb in the middle of a few minutes. Okay, that reminds me of the S's, up and down. This is going to be a very good trainer tester with resistance kicking in and out. And it is kicking in and out. Okay, very unique. There's nothing like this section of road on Watopia. That's continual S's. Be very interesting at speed. If you're in a big group flying through here, your, um, your resistance changes are gonna be very important because at speed, your training will need to change faster. Definitely has a Jarvis feel to it with these big trees. Jarvis Island, if you recall those. All right, 5%, hello. Okay, feeling a little bit like the, I was gonna say the northern end or the southern end, I'm not sure which direction is up. But the new TT course, that little section at the end through the trees. All right, right on. More S's, look at this. Oh, bear up. It's definitely, this is very unique. Canoes, will Zwift have canoes? Deer up. Okay, it's meant to be an easy ride, but it's a bit of a workout. Rolling, rolling, that percent grade change is bouncing up and down quite a lot. Alrighty. 8%. 5, thank you. What if I swap camera angles here? There's a watchtower up there. That house behind us. A magnificent buffalo bike. That terrain does not stop rolling. There is no flats. It's not the Fuego flats. It's the Fuego hilly. Now on the screen here, you can see up top where I am, the white dots are other riders. Everyone's hanging out on the climb. So we're about to top out on this one. 5% gradient, it's not too bad. That's one hell of a big tree. And that was one hell of a big tree. Shrooms, get a ride through there. <laughs> Take the pain away from any FTP test. Stop and nibble some shrooms. More big trees. Okay, now we're coming over top of this. I expect some downhill relief. And we have more downhill rolling. How's the trainer gonna respond? Okay, off. Rolling into this with a bit of momentum. Back on, back off. Keeping a bunch together through this will be very hard. Bear up. <laughs> oh, he's getting the honey. There we go. Okay, back to, this is about riding bikes, isn't it? Just have to remember that, it's about riding bikes. It's a training platform. 
that's what we're here for. Okay, we can see the roads through here. Oh, this is nice. Let me, if I can grab an overview of that somehow. A better camera angle. Which hasn't been kind, let me flip back. <laughs> More rollers. What are we in 3.4K? So we're almost half there. Hey, O'Brien. Birds. Okay, we can see other riders there in the distance. I do like that, um, the perspective there we've got. We can see other riders up the road if you're in a race or off the back of a bunch, you can see where the back of the bunch is. It's not just them up the road. Ah, KOM Tower in the distance. Okay, Titans Grove KOM Reverse. So technically we're on the reverse, according to this, starting here. All right. North House, currently in number one. I'm just enjoying the view. So we're on the climb proper here on Titans Grove. Nine hundred meter climb, four percent at the moment. T Chan closing in on the Tron bike. Right on. <laughs> we'll return that one. Four percent. Time for a drink. Twenty seven times have been set. So there are people who are on course at the moment who have ridden that. T Chan five point four, what's a kilo? Burning it up. Those kind of watts, I reckon. Yet yeah, T-Chan will get the KOM. That's my prediction. We'll find out shortly. If I'm 20 seconds off at 3.6, come on T-Chan. Ride it, mate, come on. And if he does, we can see the, the jersey pop up next to the name there. Yeah, easy, got it. I'd estimate T-Chan's close to two minutes. Probably, here we go, bang, you got it, good job. Let's have a look at T-Chan's jersey. So there's the KOM jersey for this section. Bit of an anti-vaxxer spotted jersey. With a tree there on the leg. Good job. Good job. Back to me in the old clunker buffalo bike. There's the KOM here for me. Rolling in 10th. Nice. And working up a sweat. And dropping a power up. <laughs> I should have been that one actually, shouldn't I? All right, what are we at? 4.9 Ks. Halfway there, just over halfway. Rolling terrain. It'll be a very different experience on the grass. Uh, in a bunch with those changes in uh, in elevation it's it's non-stop s's okay this is the part we like the downhill we can even big ring you can hear the di2 kicking in here we go into the forest Three down, into the fog. Good thing the buffalo has the headlight. 
Are there any gorillas in the mist? Hey Smith, right on. Looking for some sloths to high five. Deer up. More fog. Has a bit of a cooling effect, this fog. Of that KOM. All right, through the valley. This would be a bit of a leg sapper in the other direction. Visually, there's a lot of work going into this. The overhangs, the extra trees. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We have a Zwarasic Park. Okay, give it a few million years and they'll turn into the oil at the service station at Hanks. Bit of a hat tip there to Hanks Garage with the dinosaurs. Okay, back into the trees. Another dino, whee! Look out, bro. Cool. And another one. He's aged. You can count the rings on that guy. I'm in the trees. Okay, oil fields, or soon to be oil fields. Pterodactyl or something. Peridactyl. I'm sure dino nerds will correct me on that one. More trees. And we're going to get back into some climbing here. Lots more detail on this course than anything I've seen. It's not over foliaged like New York. It's not up. Oh, more friends. Let's see if you'll stop in a few million years, bro. Um, it's not over foliaged like the jungle course. It's. Yeah, it's, it reminds me a lot of Jarvis. Jarvis was the original route on Zwiftwood, first released over four years ago now. Near coming up five years. All right, back into working up a sweat. Just taking it easy. Possibly a big ring course at speed. Maybe, maybe. Depending which training you're on. Okay, dinosaur with a wig on. I oh, know it's a tree. Seven point nine Ks. Small uphill, then we went to the downhill, back to the TT course that we know. It's getting hot. More rolling, more rolling. Still more rolling. This is definitely unique in two aspects. The rolling terrain and the curves and the environment that we're in. So what have we had? We've had standard beach environment of Zwift and the, the island environment we know as Watopia. We've got KOMs in the snow fields. We have the jungle route, desert flats in the heat. And we have this, the forest route in the oil fields. Well, you know what I mean by oil fields. Um, so they've managed to mix it up. So I guess in one ride on Zwift, you could get four seasons in one day. In four different uh, areas. So I guess it's environmental and the topology has changed a lot for this route. Cool, almost done. Please be downhill from here.
It's going to be a lot more fun with friends though, for sure. This has been a solo ride just after release. More rolling. I reckon there's going to be more hidden gems. Given we saw the bear up the tree with the honey pot, we saw the rubber duck floating in the geysers. Uh, obviously the dinos back there. Uh, we're going to have to ride through here with a magnifying glass and have a look at what's new. All right, well, here we are, T Chan doing a reverse T. Okay, we'll roll through here and I'll just do a quick little loop coming back up here and we'll have a chat about the route. Have a look at what's going on. Oh, another triathlete off the road. What's happening there today is if you see other people riding around in circles, they don't have the updated client just yet. Uh, the release is just a little bit out of sync with the Apple release, I believe. Here we go, Titans Grove, so we can go back up the reverse. I won't do a full route for this, we'll just have a chat about what we've seen today. So there we are, it'll be 9.4 k's in, that includes the start and a little bit of the end, so probably a little bit longer than 8.4 k's all up. Um, yeah, as I said, really unique in the aspect of terrain and the turning, and you can see further up the road. Lots of work going into the trees and things, and all the, uh, the additional visuals there. <laughs> there's, there's someone doing circles. <laughs> Into the tree! <laughs> and gone! <laughs> so, that'll be resolved when everyone's updated to the same client. Uh, so yeah, uh, what was I saying? Uh, the graphics, the visuals, the ride, but I think, yeah, the difference is going to be the group ride um, composition or execution, is that the word? Where everybody's in a bunch going up and down. Maybe a bit of a challenge for different trainers, those on dumb trainers or non-smart trainers, which keeps it consistent uh, even throughout those hills. They may be a bit more yo-yoing effect. So I think it's gonna be a ride experience change for people to upskill of how their trainer works and responds. It's all about the power that you are putting out on the pedals. And those of us with smart trainers, it's going to be interesting to see how the different smart trainers respond. The Neo was pretty quick there in the S's, but up at speed, if I'm riding in a bunch and we're going twice as fast through all of those, uh, will it be quick enough to respond? Hmm, interesting stuff. The one thing I do like though is there's little rewards at the end of every climb, like just here. That's downhill. That kicks in easy. But then you've got to go back uphill here. Alrighty, we'll leave it at that for now. The Titans Grove Loop. If you haven't checked it out, I do recommend jumping on yourself, having a ride, and seeing how it goes. I'm sure there'll be a few rides, races, and things scheduled on this new course, given it's just been released today. So they'll be coming up in the next few days. But uh, let us know what you think, and we'll be back later with a, a live ride through this. Hopefully we can tack onto a bunch, and uh, we'll get some drafting through those S-bends. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, hit subscribe to keep across what's new. Eurobike is just around the corner, so lots more coming for that. All right, thanks for watching.